Lately, we've been hearing more and more about responsive design and responsive themes. And I thought I'd take a minute just to explain what that means. So typically, with mobile design, you have your full website. Here's a good looking site. Uh, doesn't work real well on mobile. And so they have a separate mobile version, which does work well. Looks kind of ugly in here, but on an iPhone or Android device, it looks pretty good. The issue is determining what is considered mobile. Um, a 10 inch tablet often is considered mobile, but really should be seeing the full site. Seven inch tablet's a little iffy. How about a five inch phone? You know, it's kind of weird figuring out what's mobile and what's not. Um, and also in most cases, you lose content on the mobile site. You know, it strips it down to the, the bare necessities. So more and more often lately, we're seeing uh, responsive designs, responsive WordPress themes, that kind of thing. So this is from Studio Press. They make some amazing WordPress themes and they're slowly converting their designs over to be responsive. And so here's an example of Agency, one of their older themes they just reworked from the ground up. It looks great now, and it's completely responsive. So here's what that looks like in action. So here we are in a full, full browser, normal site. It looks great. Um, now if we were to take this and just kind of thin it out a little bit, you'll see it looks good, looks good. Um, as we get to here, and notice what happens here. Watch the bottom, these three buttons. It'll, when we get narrow enough, it'll drop them into a single column. So we can go up and down and see those three buttons there. If we keep getting narrower, the little slider in the middle here shrinks and shrinks, and eventually it's going to lose that right-hand column. And that drops off, and now it's just the image. Um, stuff up here is getting a little smaller, a little smaller. And we just keep shrinking it all the way down until we're the width of an iPhone. And the site, now obviously we're a little, we're a little taller here, but this is the width of an iPhone, and it works pretty well. You still get the full site. There's those three buttons, and then the sidebars and all that kind of stuff show up down at the bottom here. Um, another good example, we'll go back out. Now they have one called Generate. Nice little theme. And same deal. As we start coming in, you know, notice here, it changed, changed the, the layout at the top. As we keep going in, keep going in, it's just shrinking things to fit. At this point, it totally redoes the navigation to fit better on mobile. You'll see that at the top here switch to mobile. But again, all the way through, we still get the entire content, but formatted nicely for mobile. So if you're on an iPhone, it looks like that. Android device, it looks like that. 7-inch tablet, like that. 10-inch tablet, like that. And then a full browser all the way out. It's really quite awesome. Uh, one last example is 1140, where they have two sidebars. And this is a good example of where, as we start shrinking in, you'll notice that left-hand sidebar will disappear. And as we keep going, the right-hand sidebar disappears. It comes all the way in. But that content's still available. It just tucks it to the bottom. So that way, if you have important things in your sidebar, it never goes away. It's always still there for all of your users to see. So there's some good tutorials on how to do responsive design. It's really just in the CSS, you say if the screen width is so many pixels to remove and add these different elements. Um, I often just use Studio Press or other WordPress themes that have the responsiveness built in so we can just change the look and feel based on the theme and have all that code done for us. But a lot of different ways to do it. But this seems to be a growing trend, and there's some argument about what's better, uh, responsive themes versus completely mobile sites. And there's certainly good arguments both ways, and probably based on your use case, um, one may work better than the other. I tend to go responsive most of the time now, but again, it's up to you, and uh, yeah, that's how it works. Hope that helps. Thanks.